is interesting. The podcast is getting ready to start. The podcast is getting ready to start. Stay tuned. The podcast is about to begin. The podcast is beginning. Welcome everyone to the podcast for people who want to make things happen in their lives and the lives of other people. I'm Pat Schultz, your host. I'm the owner and founder of Ready for Takeoff, an innovative approach to coaching. And I have back with me today, two guests from my previous podcast. They are Colleen McCarter and Sahir Rizvi. Now, why did I bring them back? Well, in the previous podcast, both Colleen and Sahir shared some valuable information on how you can create a healthy lifestyle and eat healthy foods. Well, they shared all that information, but today, they're going to show you exactly how to do it with a couple of live demos. Oh, this is going to be fun. They are all set up in their kitchens. And I'm going to begin with Colleen. Have her just give a brief introduction in case you're tuning in for the first time. And then Colleen is going to show you some pretty cool hacks on how you can avoid fast food and grab your lunches on the go. So Colleen, I'm going to turn it over to you. Well, welcome everybody and thanks Pat for having me back again. I'm the founder of SustainWell. It is Eat Well, Live Well, Sustainability and Health. I'm a nutrition and weight loss coach. I've been in the industry for 20 years and I love getting in the kitchen and sharing this information with all of you because what I realized was in order to get healthy, I had to get into the kitchen and do things I maybe didn't want to do. So. I'm going to be talking today a little bit about creating what I call a salad in a jar. You might have seen, you know, the mason jar salad type of concept. It does take time. And we talked uh, last time a little bit about not having enough time to cook and eat healthy. Well, we have to start thinking about making, uh, carving out at least a bit of time to do a little bit of prep work. So I try to tell all my clients to, you know, bring the groceries home and shop. You know, I have some spinach here. You know, this can be a grab and go bag of spinach or a box of mixed, you know, mixed greens. You know, also too, you know, a can of tuna is grab and go. You know, you take it with you. They have the Ziploc pouches. You can open it up, grab a some crackers or some whole grain Ezekiel bread and pop that on there and just eat that. You know, a grapefruit is great for this time of year. Great citrus, great vitamin C, that can be a grab and go. And so can a banana with a little bit of peanut butter, you know, two tablespoons for portioning. And then it can be put on a wrap and then rolled up like a burrito. Or it could be in like a sandwich. There's nothing wrong with having a sandwich on the go. Put that together, grab your coffee, grab your peanut butter and jelly, and you're on your way, basically. But what I want to talk about is how do you make a salad in the jar? And what you can do is have your family do it so the kids can be involved. You can have a whole group of your Bible ladies or a business group come over. Everybody bring. I have a cucumbers in here sliced up. What I wanted to show you is a couple of two different types. You have these mini cucumbers, which is another grab and go. And then you have a little bit mid-sized cucumber. And then of course you have those longer English cucumbers, whatever you like, you know, you, you chop it up, you slice it up, whatever you want to do. Um, I have red peppers and green peppers here. Uh, in two different bowls because the thing is when you're doing this and prepping 
you do need a lot of dishes. So you want to make sure you have enough things that you like chopped up so you can put it in your jar. So what you start with is the bottom is the salad dressing. Now you don't have to put the salad dressing on. You could put it in a smaller container or you can buy, you know, Marzetti's already prepackaged dressings. Um, I tell everybody to make sure your salad dressing isn't loaded with added sugar. So try to make sure that the salad dressing is four grams or less. So this is a uh, age balsamic dressing. It's an organic, simple nature that I got from Aldi's and it only has two grams of added sugar. So that's a good one. You could also use, I love this garlic expression, which you can use to marinate your chicken or your turkey or something like that, or vegetables to go on the grill. But this is another good one that you could put on the bottom too. This too only has two grams of total sugar. Now you can always use the old oil and vinegar, you know, the, both the white vinegar or red vinegar, or uh, this is a healthy kind of a nice little good health recipe. It's a tonic, which is almost like your, um, oh, what's that? Uh, the organic uh, aged, uh, what is, there's another one that you could put vinegar. So it's the oil and vinegar concept. So. What you're gonna do is you were just going to put, I'm gonna grab my tablespoon and I'm gonna measure two tablespoons of salad dressing. Now that doesn't seem like a lot. I'm gonna use this one and then I'm gonna use a little oil and vinegar for another jar. Now you can also use in your jars, um, you could do a chicken cob salad, you could do a Mexican salad. You do what you like. And that's what I like to share with my clients is I help them kind of figure out the best method for them to live that healthier lifestyle. Like don't prescribe diet. So we got that dressing on the bottom and I know you're all saying, well, that's not enough dressing. I need to drown it. And in the dressing, well, that's the first rule of thumb to cut calories is look at what you're putting on top of those salads, how much ranch, how much blue cheese, how much creamy Italian, and then start making small steps to change that way. Now, the next thing you want is your crunchy vegetables. So I have some, some chopped up celery, so you can load up some celery because that's going to absorb the moisture. So you do your celery, kind of layer it in there. I have some cauliflower chopped up and you're probably wondering, well, what the heck am I gonna do with all these leftover vegetables if I'm only making two salads? Well, I'm gonna use these mason jars and put all my cut up vegetables to use for later in either stir fry dishes or in a stew or something like that, or just be able to open up my mason jar and watch a Netflix movie tonight. So those are some tips, or you can just grab and go those little uh, cucumber mason jars and take them with you with the little hummus in a little jar as well. So I am going to take my cauliflower and I'm gonna put, cause that's crunchy, as my next layer. And what I might wanna do is I might want to, in my other one, I might wanna start with I have some green peppers, so I might want to do something different and put my crunchy green peppers on the bottom of this salad. And I might also want to do my red peppers on top of my cauliflower one. Now, I also have these cucumbers that I sliced up, so maybe I want to put, now I want to have color, so I don't want to go green on green. So I'm going to put my cucumbers up top of my red pepper. And then on my green pepper one, I'm going to put, let's see, what should we put on it? Oh, I got some crunchy shredded carrots. Now you could buy these already cut up. You could chop up your own carrots to stay a little uh, cost effective. So I'm gonna put the carrots on top of my green peppers. And then I'm gonna put my carrots on top of my cucumber. So I finished that particular thing off. So what you can do is you can look at all your vegetables you have that are kind of going south and make these jars. It doesn't have to be elaborate with everything. Now I have some onions 
You can use scallions. I just used a yellow onion. I'm going to put a little bit of onions on top of the one. And I don't think I'm going to put onions on this next one because it might be for my husband want, might want to grab that one. So let's see. We also have, I like to use the Cleveland kraut or a fermented sauerkraut. Now this is a beet kraut. It comes in a Ziploc pack. Yeah. The Cleveland kraut. You could use a different kraut, but I like the Cleveland kraut because there's beet, there's a garlic one. There is an also another really nice flavored one and it stays very well. So if you want to get that beet, a lot of antioxidants, I use the beet Cleveland kraut. So I'm going to layer that up on this one. And I'm going to put the beet kraut in this other jar on top of the onions to give it some color. Now you don't have to go sparingly, folks. You can go very, very heavy on that. And the next thing I have is tomatoes. Now I just use cherry tomatoes. That's another girls and guys, another grab and go. You can take a little package like this. You can run into the grocery store, grab some cherry tomatoes, those little cukes, and there's your lunch and a tuna you know, cut up tuna. So you don't have to go to McDonald's or Wendy's or Taco Bell. You got it all ready to go. I slice those little cherry tomatoes in small little halves just because I don't want to. The worst thing about my salads or going to a restaurant and salads is chopping it all up because they don't do the due diligence of chopping it up for my taste buds. So it takes forever. So that's why many people don't order a salad because it takes too much labor to eat it. So they go with French fries or they go with something else that's easily digestible. But what's happening is we're having an absorption problem. So I cut mine up so I don't have to do that after I throw my jar on my plate. So I'm gonna add these tomatoes to both salads to finish it up. All right, so that one's done. Now it's nice, you can see, there's a lot of nice color in the jar. We got green, orange, white, red, the, you know, the beet red and the red. And in this one, we got the light green, white, red, green, red, and then a different hue. Now there's different size mason jars, everybody. So you want to get the, you know, the 12 quart one, but some are a little bit bigger, you know, wide mouth and some are slender mouth. So it all depends what's on sale um, that you grab or that you can order from Amazon. They are hard to find now because people are staying in, so they're doing a lot more canning. So be careful that way. I also cut up some mushrooms. Now that's a softer one, so you don't want to put those on the bottom. So these are just button mushrooms. So I'm going to put those on one of my salads. And then I also have some olives, just canned olives. Give you some nice flavor there. So I am going to put some olives in the one that's kind of already almost kind of on the full side. I'll throw some olives there. And then I'm gonna top this one off. I got some black beans for protein. We could also open up this can of tuna fish to put the next layer would be some protein. Or you can cut up some chicken that you had the night before or turkey. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put some black beans as my protein in this one. And I am going to not do the black beans on the other one, but I do have some avocado sliced up, good source of fat. And I put a little lemon juice on there. So I'm gonna put avocado on the other one. Now, it's pretty packed. So what we add next, the last layer, everybody, is the lettuce. So I have some spinach in a bowl. Remember, I use that bag spinach. You could get fresh spinach, you know, but whatever your um, liking is. And then I have some organic spring mix. Now, what I also do when it's more in season, I buy the arugula, I buy um, endive, and I buy radicchio, and I buy um, romaine, and I chop that up and make my own spring mix. That can be right now, since it's not seasonal, a little bit more challenging on the budget. So I just got me some organic blend of mix. So I am going to just throw that on the top and guys push it down into that jar. So really it can pack in your lettuce so you can pack it in. So don't be afraid to push things down and jam pack the lettuce in the jar.
okay? Same thing I'm gonna do with this one. I'm gonna just jam pack and pack in. I'm gonna make this be more of a spinach salad. If you want croutons, you put that on top of the salad because we wanna keep that dry. And then everybody, voila, you lit it. And there you go. You pop these in the refrigerator, you stack them up, you grab and go. It's great, it's simple, it's easy. You open it up, you plop it on the plate, the dressing just drains through. You can even put a fork in it. I've seen people give this as gifts with their particular balsamic special recipes, put a fork on there with some nice uh, ribbon and give it as a gift to your health, everybody. So that's my hack for today. Thanks so much. Oh, Pat. I it love it. I absolutely love it. And I was introduced to this idea at a, a, a business meeting and these salads in a jar were the lunch. So right. instead of a box lunch with a sandwich, we had a jar lunch with a salad in it. And what I like about this idea is that even though it takes the prep time, right. you make enough ahead of time that the time you're investing pays off for you. And there's a, an opportunity for a lot of variety. You're not limited to the dressing, to the contents. You can be creative with it. And grabbing this salad and even your earlier hacks where you were saying you could just grab uh, a banana and some peanut butter or a can of tuna and some crackers, that is so fast. And when I drive by the McDonald's or the Wendy's, the lines are so long. Right. And I think of how much time people spend sitting in the line to get fast food Really, we're not talking about adding any more time to your day. You're just reassigning how you spend your time. And instead of sitting in a drive through you can be somewhere eating your healthy salad or your peanut butter and banana sandwich. And Kelly, Pat, yes. What I do for clients, you know, reach out. You know, it's just a conversation if you're stuck, if women that are busy or stuck trying to do for everybody else, you know, the, the aging parent, the kids, the teenagers, you know, the work-life balance, just reach out. We'll do a quick little health call to just tune up some things. You might not need a lot. Maybe you want to do more of a, a weight loss program. We can devise that too. I am doing a 16-week program starting Monday. So reach out, find me on Facebook at SustainaWell or message me on uh, my website, www.sustainawell.com, or just reach out to me at um, email, planforhealthylife at gmail.com. Give me a quick, hey, I need your help, and we'll set something up. So I'm just here to help all women get healthier. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Colleen. And again, that's Colleen McCarter with SustainaWell, and some great hacks for eating on the go. And boy, you could even get the kids involved in preparing those salad jars. I think that would be a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna switch over to Sahar Rizvi and she's gonna give you a different approach and some other hacks on how you can create some very healthy and healing meals. So Sahar, we're gonna turn it over yeah, to you. I'm just, um... I'm just blown away by Colleen. Like, I love it. I think that's such an ingenious idea. And every time I've seen one of those in a, in, you know, in some meeting and I'm just like, oh, I need to do this for myself. And yeah, thank you for bringing it up. I, I think it's just such a great idea and uh, so and on the go. So uh, yeah, so today we're going to talk a little bit. So we, I'm in my kitchen, just like Colleen. And uh, I'm gonna whip up a little bit of a uh, masala. We're gonna introduce some of the spices. Uh, so Cleveland Masala, my company name, masala means literally spice. So, and I'm an Ayurveda wellness um, coach and a health coach. So uh, I, I bring the, the holistic side of nutrition into my uh, wellness programs. Uh, I introduce how spices are so healing for us and how much spices do we really need, uh, especially during winter months when our digestive systems are sluggish um, and spices are a natural way to 
invoke that digestives in us. Um, so um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about five spices that support um, our gut health in the winter months. So the top five spices that I um, highly recommend is uh, ginger, um, cinnamon, um, cardamom, and uh, turmeric and nut. So those are uh, some of the top five um, spices. I know a lot of people are familiar with ginger and cinnamon uh, and maybe not so much the green cardamom. So I wanted to introduce my, my spice box. So this is a traditional Indian spice box that we have it by our kitchen, you know, by our countertop. And it's always like they're ready to go. So, so many times we actually have these spices, but they're all like, you know, put away in the shelves and we forget about them. So this is just one of that, you know, they're easy to grab and, and use it for different, um, you know, like uh, even like salad dressing to they grind something and put it in your veggie. Um, so I'm going to show, today I'm going to cook the sauteed leafy greens uh, with a spice blend that I'm going to make today using some of these whole spices. So, um, so the green cardamom that I just talked about is one of this. It's a very savory spice, uh, but it is also a very mood lifting and a very natural um, you know, for we use them, in, we use it in combination with cinnamon a lot. Uh, it's a perfect combination to use it with cinnamon and cardamom. Um, it's a, and we crave in winter months sugars. So these spices have natural sugars. So they are even better to use. So instead of using a teaspoon of sugar in, in our, whatever we are making, like a bread pudding, but if we use a little cardamom and cinnamon uh, combination, it reduces some of the extra sugars that we we end up eating. So these spices also have natural sugars. So, um, you know, another one of those things that to keep in mind when we are um, using these spices, besides um, the other hacks that we have for spice for our digestive systems, it's also have these natural sugars in them and they just, uh, you know, our body craves for it in winter time. And it is totally okay, as long as we can find um, that we can support without <laughs> overindulging the sugar. Um, and then also we turmeric. So turmeric is of course, we like, like I talked last time, uh, there is a lot of misinformation um, about it, how much we should use, how should we even prepare. Uh, you know, there is a lot of like the turmeric latte and um, in, my, in my wellness program, a very big part of, uh, of my wellness program is cooking how to use some of these spices and how we can uh, support fires using some of these spices in a way that it's not spicy. We are not trying to make it spicy. We are trying to make it work for you. Uh, so, you know, some of the spices are warming spices and cooling spices. So how do we bring a combination of them and support our gut health um, using that? So, um, so today we are going to make um, a digest spice mix. So a digestive spice mix is a very common thing in, in Ayurveda. So what we believe in Ayurveda that, um, you know, the, the heating, the heat spice. So the heating spice are coriander, uh, warming spice are coriander, um, cumin seeds. And there is something called, so I'm sure, I, I don't know if most people are familiar with um, coriander seeds, if you see this. So there are two kinds of coriander seeds. There is one which is Indian, which is this, this uh, um, well, like a, it's a bigger uh, round and um, I don't know how, how well you can see, but these are like bigger seeds. But then there is a coriander seed, which is from Europe. And those are much smaller, they are oval and they don't have as much of heating component as the, the other coriander seeds. So it's important to know, even when you go shopping, like what coriander seeds are you really buying? So it's just a thing to know, good to know. Um, and the warming spices, of course, cumin seeds, they are very, you know, both the spices are very grounded and heating, healing. Um, and uh, they always, if you smell it, it's, it smells literally of earth. Like it's, it's just so, you know, grounding and so, um, uh, yeah. And then of course we have 
the fennel seeds. So this is a very, very big part of, of Ayurveda foods because fennel has, um, fennel is a very good on digestive aids. A lot of the herbal teas um, have fennel. So they're very easily accessible now. You can see any Indian groceries or any regular grocery, you will find fennel seeds. And um, so we make a spice mix combination of warming and cooling spice. So fennel is considered to be a cooling spice between coriander and, and cumin and then fennel. So we're going to grind, grind them all and then we're going to use turmeric also. And if you like it a little hotter, we can add some paprika or, you know, some cayenne pepper. So that's depending on what you like. I also like to talk about one more spice mix, spice, which is called a black seed. And this one has uh, many healing properties. It is one of the most researched spice in the Western world. Uh, it is highly effective and safe to use. Uh, a little goes a long way. Uh, it is great for hypertension, fungal infection, or any kind of diabetic and ulcers. So um, like I said, it is very heating. So we always use it with a combination of cooling spice. So that's what we are going to do today. So if you can see, <laughs> okay, let me see if I can turn this camera around a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying like my best to show uh, my spice mix. Okay, here. So there we have, um, so here's my fennel seeds that I had just uh, took it. And I, I have something called a coffee grinder. So a lot of people use it for coffee, but I keep one coffee grinder just for spices. So it's a it's something. So if you see, I've only used whole spices. I'm not using too many of ground spices because uh, ground spices lose their uh, flavor and they lose their property six months. But whole spices can last for two years. So so it's always better to go with whole spices um, than ground. So here it teaspoon of fennel and I have one teaspoon of the black seeds that I was just talking about um, and then I have half a teaspoon of turmeric. so this is all you need and then I'm going to add uh, a teaspoon of tender seeds and cumin seeds and I'm just going to simply grind it away and you can make it as fine as you like. Some people like it a little crunchier, uh, but it's really just, um, it's just like a spice that you would have. And then once you grind it, I, I've also kept it in a smaller quantities. So it's something you can use in the next six months and it's not gonna lose its you know, properties. Uh, a little, some, it's, just, it's always nice to have it fresh ground instead of buying it from a store. So yeah, just like a quick little spin. So all it takes is um, like 20 seconds or 10 seconds of, so if you like it a little more um, brown. So this is, this is what it would look like, right? It is like so fragrant. I mean, I wish you were here <laughs> to smell it. My kitchen is suddenly like this burst of lovely uh, fragrance. So yeah, so this is something that um, is highly recommended for any kind of, you can use this spice mix now for even in a dressing, even in a savory dish. You could use it in like I said, vegetable, sorted veg veggies or soups and things. So today I chose two leafy greens. Uh, so just going on what Colleen was talking about, the greens and how we would, we should, you know, how good they are for us. So I chose spinach and kale because those have the highest, um, high amount of chlorophyll and fiber and everything. So all the good stuff. So I just steamed them for two minutes in a, in a steamer. And now I'm going to just show you how I'm going to lay the spice uh, mix with the sour cream. So I have a couple of garlic that I've, I'm just going to chop quickly. And I have my, um, I have my, um, pan going already. So, okay, right here. And 
and this would literally take five minutes. So this is basically a way to show that how we don't have to shy away from spices. And if we just um, try to use it, you know, if we just make a little, make our lives easy and have like these blends at home um, and, you know, you can tweak it. Like you can even put it on meats and like use it for, you know, like a, like for barbecue in the summer. I have done that also with that. And it just adds another layer. So I've got like a half a teaspoon of ghee. So ghee is a very um, healing, good fat. Um, it is basically called clarified butter and um, just little goes a long way. So I've just put like a half a teaspoon and this is a very, very healing, um, part of uh, the ghee. Um, so uh, it's very available now anywhere in, in any grocery store now. It's, it's just the medicinal uh, benefits, it's really phenomenal, very well researched. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've got some, um, I'm gonna just show quickly how to make a little quick flavor sorted green. So if you have fish today, tonight, and you just wanna spice up, like, you know, you make those sorted greens and leaf just, it's the usual same old um, that we fall into that trap and we get kind of, it gets kind of boring. Like, you know, we are just loop in that little hamster wheel of making the same foods and same spices. So give this a try. And um, so I've got some garlic going here. Um, if you can see my pan and I'm gonna quickly grab a, uh, uh, a saute spoon. And I've got these greens that I had already um, steamed. And this is just brown, a little bit of garlic. So if you do not like garlic, you can even use ginger. So, and, or if you don't want to have any kind of ginger or garlic, just simply steaming with the greens and spices, that's good enough too. Uh, but I always like a little bit of garlic or ginger because it's just so wonderful for you. It's just so great. Uh, and a little goes a long way. So, um, you know, uh, in the new year, why not challenge ourselves a little bit? <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait for it to warm up a little. You know, so yeah. we hear so much about gut health and uh, you hear such uh, complicated solutions to gut health. And here's a natural way for people to keep their digestive system in good working order. Right, so Ayurveda is steeped in, in gut health. Like all the, um, the, the concept is around Agni. Agni is the fire, your digestive fires, which we call in gut health, really, in, in, the, in digestive juices or whatever we wanna call it. So everything comes from our gut. And everything from there, any kind of inflammation, any kind of ailments, anything that we are, you know, we, we check in uh, what your, uh, what your, even your elimination look like. Like these are the things that, well, you know, you, we want to address because most of the times we are just not, you know, we get a little cramp or we, we feel a little off or we feel a little bloated and we just move on like, oh, you know, no big deal. But that is not the way that is not normal. That is not something you should be living with. It's just, you know, release that to, from yourself, thinking that that's normal. It is not. So these are little ways that we can support our gut health. And, and I feel like um, and herbs have so much of wisdom. And these are like age old, century old wisdom that, you know, we have been living with. And I love sharing this. Uh, and making it part of my program. Uh, it makes it so much more enriching and, and beautiful, just like Colleen with her uh, cooking and her salad jars. I think, you know, these are ways to um, help people get motivated and take care of themselves. So I have these uh, greens that I had already um, steamed and I'm just simply gonna dump it in here um, and just quickly give it a little swoosh with the garlic. So the, the, the steamed garlic, you can even buy like those frozen spinach, you know, and you can dump it in, you know, not everybody have the time to steam and to do all that. 
it's perfectly fine. You can just use one of those or, you know, ready to, um, you can use like fresh um, spinach also. It doesn't have to be steamed. It's just, you know, another way of softening the, the fiber and just making it easier to digest. That is the, the only point. So once I have this, and I'm gonna dump my, uh, my one teaspoon of, not even a teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon of the digestive masala that I just made. So right here, fresh straight out of, and I just sprinkle lightly. And you know, if you're new to these, you can go lighter and see how much of spice you would like. Um, but it's really just going by your, your taste. And Ayurveda is always all about um, flavor and, and taste. So uh, the reason of the bitter greens is also to bring that bitter greens because they are just so good for your liver cleansing. So one of the reasons was um, using these bitter greens for that. So yeah, and that's all it requires is just cook it in the oil. You want to have those uh, spices cooked for like a minute or half a minute and uh, just put some salt. And I always use, I use my Himalayan salt that is like fresh and straight out of um, those little cubes and rocks. So minimizing you know, processing salt and just really uh, bringing more of the wholesome nutrition and whole spices. So yeah, so that's, that's it. And you know, you can, it'll be so lovely over a fish, a grilled fish, use some of that spice mix and just and and let and just let it sit on top of these leafy greens and makes a wonderful, lovely, you know, quick, easy, healing, good for you meal. You know, uh, I think sometimes we don't like to eat these kinds of green vegetables because we don't like the way it tastes, but we forget that we can actually use spices that enhance mm -hmm. the flavor of what we're eating. So Sahar, thank you so much for this demonstration. Tell people how they can get a hold of you. Yeah, so you can look me up at clevelandmasala.com uh, or even on Facebook. I have a Facebook page and on Instagram, uh, Cleveland Masala. So uh, you can get hold of me. I am, all, I am giving a special for the month of January for my wellness program. So. Uh, it goes for three months and uh, part of it is also cooking lessons and uh, that makes it really fun. So, yeah. Thank you to both of you ladies. You know, here are two totally different approaches. And yes, they take a little bit of time and preparation, but overall I'm convinced that they're gonna save us time. And it helps us to eat healthy and create a healthy lifestyle. So again, thank you, Colleen. Thank you, Sahar. I want to go over to your house and eat because you've made me hungry just watching this. <laughs> and I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I usually use the spices, so I'm really intrigued about mixing all these spices together. And I've learned a lot, and I know that our viewers have learned a lot as well. So again, thank you for joining us. And uh, stay tuned for the next podcast presented by Ready for Takeoff, a podcast for people who want to make things happen in their lives and the lives of other people. Goodbye, everyone. Bye bye, Colleen. Bye bye, Sahar. Bye bye. Bye, Colleen. Bye bye.